How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Bitcoin has made a dramatic price movement recently. It was hovering around $6,000 for many, many months, somewhere between June to October in 2018. And in recent months, in November of 2018, it made a big price movement all the way down to $4,500 or so. This is another 25% drop from what people think is basically the bottom of Bitcoin pricing. Now I've talked about Bitcoin before and where I think the price is gonna go. This is all speculative, of course. I don't know where it's gonna go. I like to guess what it is, that's why I make these videos. And well, it turns out that I was somewhat correct, but what I said I would do is I would think about buying it back in when it hits $3,500. Now, it is very close to $3,500, and am I thinking of buying back in? My initial assumption, back when it was $18,000, I was like, oh man, this looks like it has peaked. Uh, it did peak around $20,000, and what I said at that time, I made that video sometime in December, and I said that it was just gonna taper off, kind of like a logarithmic thing where it just kind of goes down rapidly and kind of goes down slower and slower out to the horizon, basically. And my guess at the time was that the bottom limit would be somewhere around $3,500. So it's just gonna keep on going down a little bit at a time. Now, this is not gonna be a smooth path. What I thought was gonna do is that the average is gonna be a smooth path, but on the way there, it's gonna go up and down, up and down, kinda like surrounding that smooth path. What has happened recently was not exactly that. What happened was that it was tapering off towards $6,000. It was going like this towards $6,000. What happened in recent month is very, very concerning to me because it looked like it was gonna, you know, hover around $6,000 for a really long time, which when I say a long time, I think it's about two, three years. It's gonna hover around $6,000 or what I initially thought $4,500, but it did not go towards that limit. Instead, what it did was it looked like it was going towards $6,000 and then all of a sudden it dropped dramatically to $4,500. Now, this is very concerning to me because it's not behaving the way I thought it would. There's a sudden drop in this. Now the news is talking about Bitcoin farms closing in the more expensive countries where electricity is more expensive. This is very, very concerning because people are pulling back and it feels like a negative vote of confidence for Bitcoin. This is simply because when they run this Bitcoin farm, they're not earning any money. You also have to factor in the cost of the equipment. A lot of these studies, when they're doing it, it's only considering the electricity, the additional amount of electricity that you use. The Bitcoin cards, all those very, very expensive ant miner things, they essentially didn't really factor that in. They just go, okay, you already bought it. The cost is sunk in every additional let's say day that you run it you're gonna earn another ten dollars on top of the amount that you pay for electricity now if you are only earning ten dollars one dollar a hundred dollars or something like that it's gonna take you a certain number of days before you can recuperate the cost now when i think about recuperating the cost for the mining rig is you want to earn back the money of the mining rig in pretty short order, I'd say six months to one year or something. If you do not earn that money back, it essentially means that you lost money on the whole endeavor. Let's say you spent $1,000 on the farm and electricity costs you $100 every single month. And from mining the Bitcoin, let's say you earn $110. That means you're only earning $10 a month for having that platform. So how long do you need in order to make back the cost of that rig, which this equates to about 100 months this is a really long time in bitcoin time oh my gosh you know one year that's all the time it has been since bitcoin was twenty thousand dollars and now all of a sudden it's all the way down to four thousand five hundred or so so to me one year is a really long time you really want to earn back the initial investment cost of the equipment within about six months or so just to make sure you know you got your money back and then the amount after that is pure profit. Now going back to what I think about the sudden price drop. When I look at that, it worries me a lot. It's not like when I look at the prices and I go, oh my gosh, it's so low, I really gotta buy in. If it drops to $3,500, let's say the next week, it's very, very concerning because this is not the way I want it to reach $3,500. The way I want it to reach $3,500 is it taper off 
to that amount and not a sudden cliff down. I want it to reach 3,500 or so very slowly. Let's say it was at $6,000 and every month or so it dropped by $100. And you do this for about, uh, I don't know, two, three years and then it reaches $3,500. And yes, then I would be like, okay, you know, it's exactly behaving the way I think. I probably might actually even buy in. But the way it's gone recently, it's a sudden price drop. And we all know that, you know, there's some price manipulation going on over here. And uh, it worries me. So no, I don't think I am immediately thinking about buying back into Bitcoin. And I think uh, you guys should think about what I'm saying as well. This is very concerning. And to me, this platform, uh, along with a lot of different investments actually, I've invested in things where the price dropped. And basically, it will be many, many years before you'll ever see any action. It's basically, a sunken cost once you put your money in you lost money it's like goodbye goodbye forever so those are my thoughts if you guys are interested where i am right now i am in south of france at the city called surbrary it's really close to the southern border close to the barcelona side on the east coast of spain so i just happen to be over here i'm waiting for a train that's why I am making this video right now. So uh, thanks for watching. If you guys are interested in supporting this channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And as always, don't forget to give me a like on this video, push that subscribe button, and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching. Uh, I swear I almost forgot something I wanted to do. I bought this ham at... Uh, what do you call it? Girona? There's a market in Girona. I bought the nice stuff too. It's called Espalha Iberica. This is probably 100 grams, 6.2 euros. So uh, one kilogram is probably $62. One pound, probably $30 for this thing. And unfortunately, there's no easy to open thing here. Shoot. Ugh. My mouth is watering. This is supposed to be the good stuff. Iberica. Okay, I'm gonna try some. It is better. The meat is richer tasting. Compared to the $2 for 100 grams, this is better. I would say 40% better or more. Ah, see over here. Ah, it's starting to rain. I better put this away. Okay, bye guys.